Hey Kipsters, happy Thursday. Ms. Schultz here. Can't wait to start CGI with you today. Let's check in with our tricky problem we had to solve about Ms. Bell and all those flowers that she planted. Ms. Bell had 24 flowers in her garden. She planted some more flowers yesterday. Now she has 61 flowers in her garden. How many did she plant yesterday? I chose to use our strategy of adding up and decade counting. I started with the part that I knew, 24, so I had two tens and four. And then I chose to add up, so I decade counted. So I had 24, 34, 44, 54. Can I do another 10? 64, nope. So then I had to count by ones, 54. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. That was seven ones. So I knew I added 10, 20, 30, and seven makes 37. So I had 24 plus 37 equals 61. 37 were the amount of flowers that she planted yesterday. Great job, Kipsters. Today we're going to solve a really similar type of problem. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Today's problem is about my really good friend, Levon. He was around his house and he was collecting all the change that he could find around his house. And he had 23 quarters. And then his mom gave him some more, and now he has, oops, had to make sure I remember, and now he has 57 quarters in all. How many quarters did his mom give him? Let's take a look. Read it twice so you can say it to me. Levon has 23 quarters. His mom gives him some more quarters. Now he has 57 quarters. How many did his mom give him? One more time, listen carefully. Levon has 23 quarters. His mom gives him some more quarters. Now he has 57 quarters. How many did his mom give him? I wonder who was listening carefully enough to retell it to me in your own words. All right, kiddos, tell it to me. You've got it. Nice job. My question for you before we get started is, do you think Levon's mom gave him more or less than 57 quarters? Let me ask you again. Do you think Levon's mom gave him more or less than 57 quarters? Get ready to shake, shake, shove. Shake, shake, shove. Some of us are saying more and some are saying less. As always, four minutes to solve and find out. Draw all your parts, label, number sentence, make it neat and organized. If you think you're done early, solve in two ways. All right, Kipsters, I'm gonna uncover. We'll put four minutes on the timer. Go ahead and get started. Whoa, I can see some neat and organized work already. Don't forget to label all the parts. Wow, don't forget to write a number sentence.
Nice job, Kipsters. Keep it up. Almost time for you to help me solve. One minute left, kiddos. Can't wait for you to help me out. All right, my friends, time to solve it two different ways. The first way that I'm going to solve is by subtracting away from the total. I know that he has 57 quarters in total. I'm trying to figure out how many his mom gave him, and you know he started with 23. So I'm going to do 57 minus 23 to find that missing part. Let's start with 57 cubes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and if I take off 1, 2, 3, that will make seven. 57. Great. Now I need to take away 23 of them. Let's start with our tens. 10, 20. I need to take away three ones. One, two, three. Easy peasy. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right. Let's draw that out. Okay, it started with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 7, and I'm going to take away 23. Take away 10, 20, and take 1, 2, 3 off of my 7, which would leave me with 4. So 10, 20, 30, 34. Nice job. So... 57 minus 23 equals 34. Great job. The other way that we can do this is adding up. We know one of our parts is 23, and we're going to see what we need to add to that to get to our total of 57. So let's start with 23. So I'm going to have 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. Great. 23. Now I'm going to count up, and I'm definitely going to decade count because I know that's going to make it go faster. So 23, 33, 43, 53, 63. Nope, can't add another 10. So we add 23, 33, 43, 53. Let's count some ones. 54, 55, 56, 57. So I added 10, 20, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34. And that matches with what I know my other part was. Awesome. Let's get this on the paper. Okay. Started with my 23, and I'm going to decade count up. 33, 43, 53. Can't do another 10. 54. 55, 56, 57. 
in total, this was 34. So I know 23 plus 34 equals 57. Nice job, Kipsters. I hope you used one of those two ways to solve the problem with me. As always, let's leave ourselves with one more problem to solve so you can get that extra practice on your own. All right, last one. There were 45 birds outside the window. Some birds flew away. Now there are 38 birds still at the window. How many birds flew away? I'm going to challenge you to solve both ways. The first way where you subtract away from the total and the second way where you add up from the smaller part. I'll leave it up here. Make sure to pause it so you can copy this down. We will check in next week and we will see if you solved the problem correctly. Bye, Kipsters. Great job.